you guys want to walk around and read some of the scary haunted happenings? Snug. What is this called? Snug Harbor? Snug Harbor. The path of the Staten lady in Island. Night. Where are we, Natalie? Woo! Yay! I thought there were cemeteries. That's what she said, but maybe it's on the, the thing. Disappointed there's no cemetery? Yes. I was ready maybe it's, maybe it's on the path. I wanted to scare the living daylights out of our little ones. Alright, let's go on the path and see. Liam, you ready to go? Excited? It's really hard to get a movie made. 
I, I wasn't um, involved early enough when the the idea, I think, uh, one of the writers came up with this amazing idea of what if R.L. Stein was actually in the movie, and what if the books, you know, were magic and, and, and the, the stories came to life. Once that happened, though, that was sort of the, the breakthrough idea, and then and then calls were put out, and a lot of directors, including myself, came in and auditioned for the job, and, uh, and it moved really quickly. It was always very hard, I think, leading up to that, and this is what we've learned from R.L. Stein himself, was, you know, it's an anthology series, and no, they couldn't figure out which book, which story, and so this this big idea popped into someone's head, and that was the breakthrough. All right, I think we've got a microphone out here for you guys. Do, do we have any? Who, who's What's, who's talking? Right, right, right up there. here. Hi. Uh, when you start um, answering this question. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna go with the obvious. Slappy was awesome. And uh, I, I'm terrified of control his dummies. They're just really creepy. Oh, yes. I'm gonna say the praying mantis. It's a 60 foot tall bug, so it's pretty cool. I'm gonna say the poodle, because it's really cute at first, but then it's not so cute. <laughs> I like the lawn gnomes. I think they're creepy. The way they move and crack, and they're throwing knives. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> what was your favorite? You can, you can also pick one of ours, it's okay. Pick one. I like the zombies. Oh! oh. Nice. They're called the ghouls. Not to correct you. Can <laughs> <laughs> so we have another question? Oh my goodness, sorry. Let's get one over here. You want to run around to the other side so we're nice to this side of the room too? In the orange right over there, yeah. You got it, yes. You were pointing at your own head. <laughs> What was, the, what was the hardest scene to actually make? What was the one that was really difficult? I'm not very coordinated, so I would say uh, the one in the ice rink, because we were actually running on the ice. And when we did rehearsal, Dylan and Ryan, we had to run, 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 slide. And Dylan and Ryan, and the three of us did it. And then the guy, the um, trainer at the end said, okay, you guys, Dylan and Ryan, you're good. Oh, Dale, we're gonna need some more work. <laughs> so I, I needed some extra help with that, and I did fall multiple times, so for me that one was hard. <laughs> Fun. That was difficult. It was really hot and the ice cream started to melt. It was really wet and it's like dangerous and it was not easy. Yeah. Slippery. Don't shoot an ice rink in the middle of summer in Atlanta because <laughs> the ice rink actually melts. All right, why don't we get a question of, of the guy right next to the orange shirt, yeah. I think they answered That's that for sure the, cute, right, by the, 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 cute, the cutest question we've ever had Very so far off the first You guys answered what your favorite monster is, Not but what's your favorite, 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 favorite monster? Right. Oh, gosh. Oh, but, uh, look, in, the, uh, in the light blue hat, right back there, you had a question, didn't you? Yes, you, who's turning around. Oh, she's, she put her right hand Right here. Yeah, put your hand up. Yeah, yes. yeah. Uh, hi. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, what do you think is something that you accomplished during this movie, and what do you think is something that you can improve? That's a good question. Might be the most serious question we've got in this whole press tour. I, I didn't. I didn't realize it was going to be quite this level of interrogation. Hard hitting Q and A. What are your flaws that you haven't fixed yet? Let's go back to really, really so favorite monster. Well, wait, so what's the first half? First is, what do you think you guys, what were you really proud of accomplishing with the film in this movie? And then what were the things that you, you felt you still need to work on after finishing it? My acting, I think I should work on. No. Uh, no. And no. that's all I got. No. 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 <laughs> um, I don't know, for me, I feel like we've accomplished... Uh, I'm gonna say Dylan's acting too. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so the like, one thing everybody can do. work on is my Dylan's acting. <laughs> um, no. I don't know, I mean for me, like these are these kind of movies are the movies that resonated with me most growing up as a kid. Like PG, scary, adventurous, funny movies for families, um, they feel so classic, like the England films or anything. I mean they were really, really prominent in the eighties and nineties, so to be a part of a movie like this and have it be great, like it's successful, I think we succeeded in the movie we're gonna make, I think that's all thanks to Rob, but 
just being a part of that for me is what I ultimately accomplish here and the relationships we have now. So, and my acting can improve. So you guys go on. Next question, um, what about the, the little girl right over here? Yeah, 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 right, right up here. Yes, with her hand raised very high. Uh, what was your favorite part of making the movie? <laughs> so cute. What was a really, what's an amazing part of the movie? Like, what was it something that maybe like we didn't get to see, but like something was really fun about making the film that you know maybe it's behind the scenes, something that we didn't get to witness in it. What were some of the things behind the scenes that you guys really enjoyed? I mean, we had a lot of night shoots, so we start. We actually woke up at night and went to sleep in the morning, so that we can film all night long. And I don't know. I like to stay up late. I know it's not good. So for me, I thought that was really fun. Uh, and we really got to know each other that way. I think people get really delirious at four in the morning. So I think that's an exciting part. We, we had a lot of bloopers. That was really fun. That was like, Dylan kept oh, laughing. There, you know the scene where Jack Black throws the, the statue piece and it just misses them? And he's like, that was a terrible throw. It was just misses us. It's, it's he pretty, missed them by far a mile. And Jack insisted on, on doing his own stunt that time, and which was throwing at Dylan and Ryan, and Dylan kept cracking up through. It was really hard to get I messed up solid at take least up. a total of six takes. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you're watching the blooper reel, there are six takes in a row that were perfect that I started laughing at. And um, there were, yeah, anyway. Um, it, I can improve on that, guys. That's what I can improve. Thank you. Thank you.